This one is an extremely interesting topic. A few days ago, no more than two, Nintendo had sort of a leak where someone in the, at least someone who apparently is associated with them, I'm not exactly sure of the details 100%, don't hold me to it, but there was a leak apparently that Nintendo's NX system, which if you don't know, was going to be their next gen console, and they're saying that it's gonna change the game and whatnot. We don't know too many details on it, but Nintendo's saying that it's going to be based on personal, like, life, health, all this kind of, man, it sounds like they're just pulling it back from the Wii U, I mean, excuse me, from the Wii, but I mean, anyways, the Nintendo NX is said to be this amazing console, which is going to be coming out, um, well, we don't really know when, but I mean, you know, it's the next gen console, you know, it's supposed to be really nice and fancy. So obviously that this leak that happened a few days ago got a little bit more credit than it should have because Nintendo, they're trying out new things and you know, they were hoping that they learn from the Wii U. So anyways, this rumor said that Nintendo's next gen console was going to have an operating system which is based off of Android. And to be honest, I got excited about this news. Some people were saying, oh, does this mean that the next the NX is going to be, what, underpowered or something? And I heard this said by, you know, Review Tech USA and a lot of other big tech mobiles, and I've seen it myself. Android operating system doesn't necessarily mean that the gaming is going to be weak. Um, there are plenty of operating systems out there which use Android that um, aren't really 100% Android, but they kind of like have Android at the root. And it kind of helps them to have third-party developers jump on easier. There's a lot of benefits, I feel, to using Android on an OS. And, um, you know, there's a lot of compatibility things that you don't have to worry about when you have Android there. A lot more people can develop for the console and whatnot. But apparently, this leak is not true. Um, we're here on my Nintendo News right now. And Nintendo says that the NX will not use Android. Something which is a little bit unexpected. Nintendo came out 100% and said, uh, no. We are not using Android for our next-gen console. Who the hell told you that? There's no way in fucking hell we would do that. And to be honest, I, I my heart kind of broke because I feel like Android OS would be a great way for Nintendo to really put themselves on the map and make a console that's so unorthodox. And if it has the hardware behind it to play those games in tents, then I mean, holy shit, it could be something that could change the game, I feel. I got excited about it because, like, like I said, the Android OS does not mean that it will be a weak console. Don't think about the Ouya, and I know it's pronounced Oya, or I think, but I call, I call it the Ouya. <laughs> My girlfriend was laughing at me earlier for it. <laughs> Ouya. <laughs> but I mean, it's the, don't think about the Ouya, because that was an underpowered piece of, you know, I won't say crap. I mean, I, I, I gotta be more, you know, this whole big YouTuber thing, man. I mean, I'm not even all that big of a YouTuber, but I, I gotta respect people's opinions out there more. You know, I can't just be talking reckless like I used to when I had like 30,000 subs. So I won't call the Ouya a piece of crap but it was definitely not the console that we expected it to be. It was underwhelming when it came to specs, and the titles that it offered were really shallow. I mean, there really wasn't that many diverse titles as we thought there would be, and they couldn't play things that were current gen to save its life. So don't think about the Ouya when it comes to the NX potentially having Android, which it doesn't, but I really like the idea. Anyways, we heard yesterday that the Japanese publication, the Nikki, claimed that the Nintendo NX would use a version of Android for its OS. However, a Nintendo spokesperson has come out and said that there is no truth to this rumor. Nintendo coming out and killing this thing right away is something that no one expected, but I'm sure that they wanted to do so because they felt like people were giving this rumor, this leak, a little bit too much credit. Like I said, because of Nintendo trying new things. Everyone knows that Nintendo's Wii U failed. Everyone knows that they were going to try a new approach, and they know that it's based on personal health and whatnot. Why not incorporate Android with it? People gave this leak too much merit, they gave it too much credit, and that's what Nintendo was scared of, because they knew that this thing could get out of hand if they didn't dead it right away, because so many people were going with it, holy crap, and that's gonna have Android, it's definitely practical, and I can see Nintendo trying it, but they wanted to make sure that they nipped that shit in the bud. So they're obviously very sensitive when it comes to their NX, you know, Nintendo's feelings are on the line there. Miyamoto himself, he cried himself to sleep last night, because he, I can't believe that I would use Android tonight. <laughs> Miyamoto, don't worry man, we got you baby. But um. A Nintendo spokesperson came out and said that there is no truth to the rumor. It certainly would have made some sense for the new system to use Google's operating system. This is what I'm saying. It would have been kind of practical. It's different. It's really weird, but it could have worked. Nintendo could have made this spin in a direction that they 
really need. You know what I mean? They need that third party support. What is Android about? Android's all about third party. Android's all about software developers, anybody being able to develop for their system. You know what I mean? And something like that, having a version working on the NX could have been a great move for Nintendo had it had the hardware to push those AAA titles the way that every other next gen console is. I feel like this is a great move, Nintendo. And I feel like a lot of people out there who understand how tech works and who can see how the OS can really affect the performance of the system and affect how many third party developers can come on board. Nintendo, your third party is pretty ass right now. I mean, you got it. You got some third party, but it ain't up to snuff. The only thing keeping them floating right now is their first party titles being so dominant. But still, they need that third party support if they want to make the next gen console NX work because that's the main reason why the Wii U failed. It did not have that third party support. It did not have that marketing it was it, it just it just flopped in that regard third party support was going to be like some this big thing they had great titles prepared for it and then horrible things like watchdogs happen you know and, and now there are third party companies out there that feel offended by nintendo or they don't really feel too comfortable developing on their hardware um, a lot of it for the sales a lot of it for their practices on treating third party and it's sad so you know, I mean, I know the the whole Android thing is false, but give it a try. Give it, at least experiment with it. They're so rigid when it comes to their beliefs and their practices on how to handle a gaming console. And I just hope that they open up a little bit more in the future. Because I love Nintendo. I don't want to see them go down. I know they got money in the bank for days, <laughs> more like centuries. But I mean, still, I don't want to see them go down because of this. And if their next console fails, then... I don't want to say Nintendo's dead, but they are going to hurt really bad if the NX turns out to be a flop. So hey, whatever. Anyways, but that rumor has been shot down by the company. Still, I suppose they wouldn't reveal whether it or not it's running Android at this point in their time anyways. Nintendo President Satoru Iwata said that we will not hear about the NX until 2016. So you know what? Kids, the show is over. Don't talk about it anymore. I don't know why we brought it up in the first place. Wait until next year. So. We're probably going to hear about the NX probably December 2016, most likely. I mean, but then again, that's, that's just me being hopeful. Who knows? We might just hear about it in 2017. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm kind of stretching. I'm just, I'm just being stupid. But I mean, let me know what you guys think about this whole Android thing happening with the NX and it being proven fake in the comments below. I really want to hear what you guys' opinion are. I know there'll be people that disagree with me, and I would love to see why. Um, let me know. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.